Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one more concept in a computer organization that is a shift operations. So how many types of uh, shift operations are there and uh, how can we do these shift operations? So mainly these shift operations are classified into three types. So we can perform the shift operations with a logical shift, logical uh, operations and uh, arithmetic operations. So all are shift operations, right? So logical operations, arithmetic operations and circular shift operations, circular shift operations and see in all these things we can further do the two types of operations one is a left operations and the right operations so that we call is a logical shift right logical shift left similarly arithmetic shift right arithmetic shift left similarly circular shift right circular shift left so here it's a logical shift right and logical shift left similarly arithmetic shift right and arithmetic shift left circular shift right circular shift left so in all these three operations we can perform for the two operations one is the left and right shift now we'll see one by one so how we can perform the logical shift right logical shift left arithmetic shift right left and circular shift uh, right and left see coming to the logical operations let us start with the logical operations so i'm taking a small example and we'll see the logical shift right and logical shift left so here i will write logical shift right and here I will perform logical shift left right so we will take only one example only one example so let us take an example here so we will perform everything on that particular example okay I will take 1 0 0 1 0 a small a 5 bits so we need to shift these five bits that means we have to perform the logical shift operations circular shift operations arithmetic shift operations both in right and left on this particular example so let us write here so what is this one one zero zero one and zero so this is the input we had okay so shift right means this is the right shift left means this is the left shift okay now let us take the output so this is the input okay this is the input so after performing the shift operation what is the output so this is the output right this is the output now logical shift right that means every bit should be shifted towards the right okay now you can observe so this this bit will be shifted towards this here and this bit will be sh shifted towards here and this bit will be shifted towards here and this bit will be shifted towards here and this will be 
vanished discarded right so that means this bit will be stored in this position in this position uh, in this position and in this position so as it is a left shift operation so first we'll write here so one will be saved here zero zero and one so what about this place so this place will be filled with zero this place will be filled with zero because this is a logical shift right operation logical shift right operation so simply you can place zero here simply you can place zero okay so this is a logical shift now coming to the logical shift left so consider the same example consider the same example so one zero zero one and zero let us consider this one and uh, see this is the output what output we need to get after performing the left shift right so this is the input and this is the output so what happens here left shift so this will be shifted towards this way this way this way this way and this will be vanished so simply we can discard this one so you can observe here so this place will be occupied here this place will be occupied here this place will be occupied here and this place will be occupied here so see 0 0 1 and 0 so what about the LSB so here also place 0 so the LSB will also be filled with 0 so this is a logical shift operation so this will be filled with 0 right here the MSB is filled with 0 and there the LSB is filled with 0 so this is a logical shift operations logical shift right logical shift left now let us move on with the arithmetic operations so I'll write the arithmetic operations. Arithmetic operations. So here, this is a arithmetic shift right, and this is arithmetic shift left. And the same way, here you can observe the same thing happens here. Okay but see here in an arithmetic shift if you consider the same example what will see the msb bit whatever the msb bit is called as a sign bit it represents the sign bit okay because it is an arithmetic logical shift arithmetic operations so if it is an arithmetic operations the msb will be the sign bit so after performing the shift operation the sign should not be changed okay so here we are performing the operations but in the arithmetic right shift or right or left whatever it may be the sign should not be changed so that's why see everything is same so the bit will be moved towards the right and this bit will be moved towards right 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 and what about the msb so msb is nothing but the sign bit okay it represents the sign so the same thing should be written here because in arithmetic shift the msb is sign representation sign representation so we should not change the sign okay even though the bits has been changed the msb bit should be copied to the msb only so here also the sign is 1 and here also the sign is 1 okay so coming to this one see what happens here coming to the arithmetic shift left so obviously the next to the msb will be filled on the msb bit here okay so we are 
shifting the bits towards the left side so obviously this zero is a next of the msb so that becomes the msb bit here so obviously now in this example you can observe here the sign is one but after performing the left shift operation the sign is zero so the sign has been changed so we can't do anything right so arithmetic shift left operation is not possible and arithmetic shift left operation is not possible because by shifting the bits towards its left the next of the msb will become the msb bit so we can't change the msb right so there we have to fill the lsb in the arithmetic shift left we have to fill the lsb we have to take care about the lsb but here in the arithmetic shift the msb is a sign bit so it has been changed there is a possibility that it will be changed so we can't perform the arithmetic shift left practically it is not possible so nowhere you will see this arithmetic shift left operations in any operations in any calculations you will not see this arithmetic shift left operation so only coming to the arithmetic operations only arithmetic right shift right is possible arithmetic shift right is possible that is also copying the msb bit of input to the msb bit of output right so this is the arithmetic operations and now coming to the circular operations circular operations see circular and this is also circular so So this is also similar to our operations so towards it will be shift towards its right so obviously yes so it will shift towards its right okay so coming to the circular shift right the bit the last bit lsb bit should be copied onto the msb so in our previous operations automatically the lsb bit will be vanished but now it will be copied at msb of the output so the zero will become the msb of output so circularly shift okay this is a circularly shift okay previously we have vanished that one that's the only shift operation either left shift or right shift but in the circular this should be copied to the msb here also what is the thing happens here one so one becomes copied at lsb copied at lsb so this is completely moved towards its left and one should be at lsb bit one should be at lsb bit so this operations will uh, will call it as a uh, circular shift right and circular shift left or circular right shift or circular left shift okay so in all the cases one thing should be happened so every bit should be moved towards its right in the right shift it should be moved towards the left in the left shift so if you are performing the right shift in the output the msb bit should be filled and in the circular left shift the lsb bit should be filled okay and among all these operations one thing just remember once again i am repeating the arithmetic shift left operation is practically not possible so we will not use anywhere this arithmetic shift left operation because it may change the sign bit okay so these are all the shift operations we are going to use in our further sessions so hope you understood this uh, concept and if still if you are having any uh, doubts regarding this one uh, this procedure feel free to post your doubts in the comment section uh, definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really, really enjoyed my session like my session share our session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much